so I'm Tracy Henderson. I'm the director of the Rite Aid Foundation and Charitable Giving Initiatives. And it's my great pleasure to be here in Spokane with all of you this morning. So thank you for being here. I know I speak uh, for all of the Rite Aid Associates, many of them here today, and the entire Rite Aid Foundation when I say we are excited to be here in Spokane to formally announce the Rite Aid Foundation's newest program. We have a very brief program, but before we begin, I would like to acknowledge the special guests with us today. And you're all special, but we have a few <laughs> behind me. Uh, U.S. Representative Kathy McMorris Rogers, Spokane Mayor David Condon, Spokane Police Chief Craig Meidel, Blake Baldwin on behalf of Governor Jay Inslee, Kate Kelly on behalf of Attorney General Bob Ferguson, Kate Burke on behalf of Senator Andy Billick, Maureen Hager on behalf of Representative Marcus Richelli, Amy Napton from the Vanessa Behan Crisis Nursery, and Rick Purcell from the Children's Home Society, two of our Spokane area Kitsons Charities. We have some Rite Aid executives, Executive Vice President of Pharmacy, Jocelyn Conrad, Rite Aid Senior Vice President of Pharmacy, Dan Miller, Rite Aid Group Vice President of Asset Protection, Bob ober -Osler. and Rite Aid Divisional Pharmacy Vice President, Rob Mullins, and last but certainly not least, Rite Aid Associates from Spokane and the Pacific Northwest region. Thank you. Now, before we get to today's news, I'd like to spend a few moments providing you with a little background on the Rite Aid Foundation and its mission of improving the health and well-being of children. Established in 2001, the Rite Aid Foundation has long been committed to improving the lives of those living in the communities Rite Aid serves. Our foundation is just one of the ways we deliver on our core value of being a caring neighbor one that gives back to the towns and cities it serves in meaningful ways. Over the years, we've provided both financial and in-kind gifts to a variety of organizations in support of their efforts to improve the lives of those they serve. Working with the American Red Cross, for example, we've provided grants and in-kind services to, co to support communities as they recover and rebuild in the wake of devastating natural disasters. So locally, um, like in 2014, the landslides in Oso, and think about some of the current disasters we're dealing with across the country today. The Rite Aid Foundation has also provided funding to Rite Aid Associates in need of short-term financial assistance due to natural disaster and medical emergencies and other unexpected hardships. And of course, through our company's support of Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, we've raised more than $81 million to save the lives of sick and injured children, including $384,000 for nearby Sacred Heart Children's Hospital. In all, these efforts have resulted in more than $110 million being raised and used to support health and wellness activities in the communities we serve. A key part of the Rite Aid Foundation is our KidSense program. Launched in 2014, KidSense was developed by the Rite Aid Foundation as a simple way for our customers to help organizations that share our commitment to improving the health and well-being of children. To help customers, they only have to enroll in the KidSense program in store or online. I'm sorry, I have a friend here. Yes. <laughs> we love our nature. Um, and to elect to round up their purchases to the nearest whole dollar. The rounded up change then goes towards supporting nonprofit kid focused organizations that give kids a chance for a brighter future. It's that simple, just rounding up your purchase to help kids in your community. Our Kids Sense program is doing this across the country. In Washington, we actually have 19 Kids Sense Charity partners, including five that serve the greater Spokane area, and some that I mentioned are here today with us to celebrate. As our Kids Sense program grows, 
we constantly, constantly are looking for innovative ways to make it even a, a greater difference in the communities we serve and in the lives of children. We know there is so much more we can do to help kids live healthy, happy, and safe lives. And that's what brings us here today. It's no secret that drug abuse and misuse is a serious problem in our country. Almost every week, there's a new headline or report on that subject. Drug overdose is now the leading cause of accidental death in the United States. Just let that sink in for a minute. Claiming over 52,000 lives in 2015 alone. Even more alarming, the disproportionate impact drug, drug abuse is having on our nation's youth. Teen drug overdose death rates more than doubled from 1999 to 2007 then increased again in 2015. And accidental poisonings among children due to medication average 165 each day, or more than 60,000 every year. In an effort to reduce these staggering statistics and keep the children and teens in our community safe, the Rite Aid Foundation, through its KidSense program, is launching the KidSense Safe Medication Disposal Program. I'd like to now introduce Rite Aid's Executive Vice President of Pharmacy, Jocelyn Conrad, to explain a little bit more about our KidSense Safe Medication Disposal Program and how it supports the Rite Aid Foundation's mission to keeping kids safe. Thank you, Tracy. And again, good morning to everyone. Good morning. It's great to be here. I'm thrilled to have the opportunity to tell you more about our KidSense Safe Medication Disposal Program. As one of the nation's leading pharmacies, we take our role in the community very seriously. From inside our stores and out into the communities, our team of Rite Aid Associates are committed to helping our customers patients and their families live and stay well. Our pharmacists in particular play an important role in the health and well-being of those they serve. From advising on over-the-counter medications to providing immunizations and counseling on how to properly take medications. As medication experts, our pharmacists know exactly how a medication can help a patient feel better when used properly and how those same medications can have harmful effects if abused or taken by accident. As Tracy mentioned earlier, drug abuse and misuse is a serious problem in our country, so much so that the statistics are worth repeating. Drug overdose is the leading cause of accidental death in our country with 130 people dying every day. And each day, 165 children visit emergency rooms to seek treatment for accidental poisoning related to both over-the-counter and prescription medications. It's an issue that demands our attention, and Rite Aid is committed to doing our part to address the issue. Our new Rite Aid Foundation program, the KidSense Safe medication disposal program will help us do even more. So here's how it works. Starting today, law enforcement agencies in communities served by Rite Aid can go to riteaid.com forward slash med disposal to complete an application of their, of their own disposal unit, for their own disposal unit. Selected law enforcement agencies will receive high quality stainless steel medication disposal units like the one you see here to keep their locations as well as an initial startup supply kit. In addition, shipping, delivery, and installation is free. Once full, the law enforcement agency can either work with our vendor to dispose of its contents or work with a certified incinerator to destroy the medications. We're thrilled to be rolling out this program ac across the country, giving our customers and communities an easy and safe way to dispose of medication that is unwanted or expired. 
To date, we are working with more than 40 law enforcement agencies across the country. And we have more than 75 kids sense safe medication disposal units in 14 state locations. And we're looking forward to installing even more units over the next several months. The Rite Aid Foundation's new program nicely complements the measures we're taking inside our store to help address drug abuse. Over the past year, Rite Aid has worked hard to make naloxone, a potentially life-saving opioid reversal medication, available in our pharmacies without a prescription. Currently, pharmacists in 25 states are able to do so. And we're very close to being able to do that right here in Washington, I think next week. So we've taken measures also to enhance the resources available on www.riteaid.com. We've added resources on drug safety and disposal to our website. Visitors can search for a disposal site in their community, learn how to properly dispose of medication at home, access resources provided by the Food and Drug Administration and the Drug Enforcement Agency, and find information or treatment on drug abuse and addiction. And we'll continue to work with federal and state legislators, industry groups, and others in the healthcare industry to fight this issue that affects so many lives. As a licensed pharmacist and a mother of two teenagers, I'm extremely proud of what Rite Aid and the Rite Aid Foundation are doing to help keep kids safe. Through our multi-pronged approach, we're reducing accessibility, educating children and adults on drug abuse and misuse, and most importantly, keeping potentially harmful medications out of the hands of our kids. So I'd like to now turn the microphone over to Tracy to introduce our next speakers. Thanks, Jocelyn. I'd now like to introduce our next speaker, a woman, a woman familiar to all of us, U.S. Representative Kathy McMorris Rogers. Representative McMorris Rogers has long been a friend of Rite Aid's. She's visited our pharmacies and associates in the Spokane market to learn more about community pharmacy. She's advocated on our behalf on important matters like medication therapy management and giving members of our military and their families a choice when it comes to filling their prescriptions. And in 2014, she spoke to 1,000 of our company leaders at our national meeting in Washington, D.C. Representative McMorris Rogers, it's an honor to have you here with us. And as we launch this program, and would you please have a few words? Great, thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm pleased to be here with Rite Aid Foundation as well as all of the leaders representing Rite Aid uh, with our mayor and with our police chief also to help launch this program, this very important program as, as we take steps to combat drug abuse and misuse. We read about it in the news regularly and we hear the stories and they're heartbreaking uh, as we hear these stories. Uh, and I hear it all across Eastern Washington, so I'm especially appreciative that Rite Aid Foundation is making this commitment here in Spokane. Addiction doesn't care about race, gender, political party, or age. And it's in our communities, our homes. And it's hurting our moms, our dads, our neighbors, our friends, and our students. It's estimated that 6.5 million Americans are abusing prescription drugs. There's a national state of emergency that's been announced to help fight back against this trend in America. I'm proud to have supported legislation to help provide more funding for programs and people that are working to solve these problems. But we can't stop there. And that's why these kind of approaches, collaborative ways to help provide resources, education, support are, are so important. You know, last year I met with an addiction survivor, Nick Jacob, and he was suffering from addiction and, uh, and recognized and shared just with me how these are sick people trying to get better. And in our meeting, he, he said, he said, people in recovery are warriors of a sort. We cannot do it alone. We have to find other warriors. And that's why I'm proud to be here today because I'm joining with some other warriors, people like our mayor, 
Mayor Condon, our police chief, Meidel, and the Rite Aid Foundation uh, as we're launching this KidSense Safe Medication Disposal Program to help as a partner in this fight. No one can battle alone, nor should they have to. So solving this problem in our community is going to take these kind of collaborative approaches with local government, law enforcement, and outreach and advocacy groups. That's what this program is going to do. It's going to provide people here in Eastern Washington with the ability to safely dispose of prescription drugs so that they won't fall into the wrong hands. I'm proud to support this program, and I'm pleased uh, with the commitment that has been made by the Rite Aid Foundation to help keep people, and especially our kids, safe and healthy and happy. Thank you very much. Thank you, Representative McMorris Rogers, for your kind words and being here today. Um, we're all warriors, so uh, I'm glad that you all are here today. And, and now that we're warriors, we know that we have a lot of work to do. I'd like to now introduce the mayor of Spokane, David Condon. Since taking office in 2011, Mayor Condon has been focused on creating a safer, stronger, and healthier Spokane. As a company with 20 stores in the Spokane market, including 12 stores in Spokane and Spokane Valley, we couldn't be more aligned in his goals. Mayor Condon, thanks to you and the city for the hospitality today. Would you care to say a few words? Well, thank you very much. If you're wondering where we are, we are at our downtown precinct. This is a initiative that we started very early on, and it really is about bringing our police department and our police officers into the communities and neighborhoods they serve. But it's also about partnerships and partnering uh, with those in our community. The executive director of our COPS uh, program is here, which is our citizen-oriented or community-oriented uh, police services, um, and really having those citizens in here. And this is yet another one of those partnerships that's meeting a dramatic need in our community. I want to first and foremost thank Rite Aid. This isn't the first time that you've supported those serving kids and really serving our community before. You mentioned some of our, our nonprofits and those that really are making a difference here in our city. And that longtime support is so appreciated. Um, and this is yet another one of those instances where you're meeting a community need, not only here in Spokane, but as I meet with the US Conference of Mayors and my colleagues across the country, something the communities are grappling with nationwide. I'd also like to thank Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers for her support of Spokane in this exciting initiative. And as you can see by those that are representing the other offices from our federal administration, our federal delegation, also those from the state delegation, that this is an issue that this country is dealing with. And also, and as it was said, aligns beautifully with the strategic plan of the city of Spokane. And one of our strategic initiatives is creating a compassionate community that all people can feel safe, empowered, and welcomed. And it's one of those four goals that we have that falls under making Spokane the city of choice of a safer, healthier, and stronger community. Chief Meidel will speak to you in a moment, but he's working in so many ways with those in his leadership team of really addressing the needs of our Spokane residents. Today is another one of those examples. We are thrilled to be partnering with Rite Aid Foundation on this new program to again to act as a resource to our citizens, to have this available to our citizens so that we don't have accidental use or misuse of expired medications. A side note, if you didn't know, uh, one of the biggest impeding problems is we have another major initiative in the city of having a cleaner river faster, that the old traditional way of disposing of your medications through your sewer system has gravely impacts the amazing asset we have here in Spokane of the Spokane River and a half a billion dollar uh, um, initiative that we've been working on and will complete over the next 20 months of removing uh, that from our Spokane River. And this is the proper way to dispose of uh, those medications and the city of Spokane believe it or not, also has an incinerator, which I would imagine will be disposing of these in a safe way. So it's with these types of partnerships that yes, we become a safer community, we become a healthier community, and as we see and as we work with our partners um, throughout the Spokane region, it is that that makes us the city of choice. It is the proper disposal that is so important to reduce harmful or accidental exposure or unintentional uh, use of, of drugs. 
and as the chief will talk about what that means uh, for our law enforcement to have this resource to direct people to uh, as a way of dealing uh, with these. So the fact that the Rite Aid Foundation chose Spokane to officially launch the Safe Medication Disposal Program, we truly are the city of choice. We appreciate that you chose Spokane. Uh, to launch this national initiative. And thank you again to the Rite Aid Foundation for yet another continued legacy of support to those that are serving the citizens of Spokane. Thank you. Wow, thank you again, Mayor Condon. We truly appreciate your partnership. Next is my privilege to introduce the Spokane Police Chief, Craig Meidel. With a distinguished career in law enforcement spanning over 20 years, how young he looks, you wouldn't know that. And the supreme responsibility of keeping 2010 residents of Washington State's second largest city safe, there's no one more appropriate to speak about public safety than Chief Meidel. We appreciate all you and your department do every day, and we're thrilled to be partnering with you and your department on this important initiative. Would you like to say a few words? Good morning, thank you all for being here. I definitely appreciate that. Uh, the Spokane Police Department is committed to reducing unwanted and expired medications in our community to decrease the potential for abuse and accidental poisoning. Each day our officers see the faces of addiction and drug abuse and the crimes that result. One example is the changing face of teenage drug addiction. In one, one recent study of 12th graders, it was revealed that over half of the 12th graders that were surveyed, uh, got their medications, got the prescription medications from a relative or a family member. Having a program like this in our community and partnering with Rite Aid is one more step towards continuing drug, towards curbing drug accessibility, medication misuse, and accidental poisoning. We will have three of these boxes uh, located throughout the city of Spokane. One is right here at the South Precinct. One will be in the lobby of the Public Safety Building and the third one will be in the North Precinct, and we're all already exploring an option of potentially putting a fourth one on the South Hill to give complete coverage for the city of Spokane. Uh, this is an effort, this is a, a great way to dispose of those drugs that you don't want in the house, you don't want your children exposed to, no questions asked, bring it into one of these locations, drop it in, and, and take off. It will keep your house safer, it will keep the community safer, it will also help keep our river much more healthy. I would say that if this program even saves one life, it will have been well worth the cost of, of implementing so in closing, I would like to thank the Kids Sense program in Rite Aid for partnering with the City of Spokane to help keep our community safer. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Meidel. We look forward to working with you and your entire team on this initiative. As we wrap up today, on behalf of the Rite Aid Foundation Board of Directors and everyone at Rite Aid, I'd like to express how excited we are about the potential of this program. It offers so much to help mitigate the devastating effects of drug abuse and misuse and reduce the number of accidental poisonings among children and teens. I'd also like to extend a special thanks to Representative McMorris Rogers, Mayor Condon, and Chief Meidel for joining us today. Thank you so much. We appreciate you standing with us as we roll out the Rite Aid Foundation's new, newest program, designed to help us further deliver on our mission of keeping kids healthy, happy, and safe. This concludes our formal program. I invite all of you to take a closer look at the, the unit here and join us for pictures. Thank you.